So I found this at the uh, store the other day and um, wasn't quite sure what it was. It has components on the front and the back and at first I thought maybe they were resistors and it was a load board or something, but uh, uh, yeah, let's zoom in close. I'll show you what's going on here. So they seem to be maybe active, dev active devices. Um, there is three pins. There's a, a big one in the back, big one in the front, and there's this little tiny one off to the side. So it almost looks like maybe it's a FET, like an in and out and then a, a gate, but I haven't ever seen that package before. And uh, uh, I'll see if I can take a picture of the, uh, of the part itself. It's, it's the uh, logo is Alpha Omega Semiconductor. Um, and on their website, I couldn't find any reference to this part. So it's conceivable it was never a product. I, I don't know. A lot of times in Silicon Valley, you'll find stuff that's been, this might be a burn-in board, might be a test board. Uh, everything's labeled uh, and all the parts are labeled. So you can, you can there's, a, there's a marking on it, number three, like this was the third test batch or something. You never know what you might find. Um, it's obviously been used because it's been in and out of a in and out of a test socket before or a socket before. Um, so what I thought I would do is I would solder three wires onto it and put it onto our analyzer and see what it thinks it is. All right um, so I soldered three wires on here and uh, I'm going to Plug them into my test socket. And yes, I did try to put the clips right on the uh, on the uh, fingers here, but it just was being a pain, so I just didn't continue. So let's turn this on. And sure enough, it's an NEMOS. Uh, 2.25 volt turn on, 0.2 ohms resistance. Yeah, they're little FETs. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, what were they for? What did they do? What was this out of? <laughs> Those are all mysteries. But I've got all these FETs on a board now. And I think I paid $3 for the board. Um, so I got uh, 20, 20 FETs. Uh, I could use them to turn on and off uh, light bulbs. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. They had a couple more. Maybe I should go buy them. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. Um, yeah. I, I really don't know. I like the package. I really do like the package. But like I said, I've never, I've never ever seen one before. Um, so, yeah. Pretty interesting. Um, two and a half volt turn on so you can drive them with five volts so you can control it with a microprocessor turn things on and off um, yeah I should probably mark which pin is what since I've got it all hooked up here now uh, let's see here so pin one is the drain so the drain is on Drain is on this side, which would make sense. And then the little pin is the uh, gate and then the source. Yeah, so the gate and the source are next to one another, which is the way I would lay it out. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what that part number is and can find me a data sheet on it. I looked, I looked for quite a while to try to find a data sheet for these things that I just I just couldn't find one. Yeah, it's pretty cool.